So I get quite a few comments about runs I should do potentially, and one of the ones that kept popping up you guys kept suggesting was to do throwing knives only. Now in my current opinion, I do think that throwing knives are actually extremely broken, and you'll see why later, but I did think it'd be a lot of fun to use and play with, so I figured why not, let's give it a shot. The rules I gave myself for this run is I was only allowed to deal damage by throwing knives. I'm not allowed to even use the knife to just kind of slash someone, I have to only throw them. The other rule is that I have to take on every combat encounter fully, meaning I need to take out every single person in that combat encounter. However, I am allowing myself to use stealth if I would like to. I'm currently in the stage of moving right now, so life is kind of crazy. I'm also planning a show with a friend in Seattle on April 14th, if you guys want to come through. We actually just dropped our latest single the end of last month, and honestly, it's probably my favorite song I've ever been a part of creating. I would really, really be thankful if you guys would check it out. I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, life has been crazy, but I still wanted to put this video together and hang out with you guys. So if you wouldn't mind supporting me, throwing a comment, like, or a sub, I would really appreciate it. Anyways, that's enough about me, let's get into the video. Starting up the game and putting on the hardest difficulty, I decided to go for the Corpo intro because I'm going to be role-playing as none other than Gordon Ramsay. What are you? An idiot sandwich. You see, there's a specific throwing knife in this game that is the chef's knife, and I thought it would be fun to only use the chef's knife and just run around pretending I'm Gordon Ramsay, you know, slicing and dicing, doing my thing. Now, I feel like I've already kind of gone over the corporate intro in some previous runs, so we're just going to kind of gloss through it and make it to where I gain control. After getting into the first mission, I immediately check my crafting tab to see if I spawn with any base tier throwing knives or anything like that, and the only option I have is to potentially craft one. I thought about a ton of ways, I tried to scrounge all the resources, and just couldn't get enough to make a single one of these knives. So I figured I would just stealth take down everybody and make it through this mission real easy. Also another side note why I'm not just giving myself a knife is because you literally can't even throw them until you get a perk point into the perk tree that allows you to throw them. So I would not only have to level up but also give myself a knife and that felt like too much to do at the very beginning of the game. After saving Sandra Dorset, we jump into this driving segment, and once again, you can't pull out knives, so I have to play these out as normal. After Jackie takes me home and I wake up the next morning, I put on my corporate attire, run over to this boxing guy, and have to box his robot because he has the crafting spec for a specific weapon. And after my fists only run, this robot's a pushover. With that done, I access this guy's shop, and after selling everything in my inventory and uh, making a couple extra thousand, I was able to buy the crafting spec for the knife. I go meet up with Jackie, we head over to Vix, I get my zoomy eyes, and eventually go meet up with Dex to talk about the future mission, the heist. After getting out of his car, I start scrubbing through all of the perk trees and try to figure out what perks I'm going to be going for. Knowing that a majority of my perks that are going to be extremely helpful to me in the early game are going to come from the cool tree, I decide that that's going to be my first attribute tree to level up. Of course, I immediately get the perk that allows me to throw the knives. I buy some common crafting resources and fill my inventory with three chef's knives. And decide to start testing my skills at some assault and progresses. <laughs> Come on, I dare ya. Gordon Ramsay's about to slice you up, cook you for dinner. While running around and completing missions, something happens that I didn't expect. All of a sudden, my blade skill levels up after throwing knives. For some reason, I thought that knives and blades would be in separate categories. Turns out, no. Knives are bladed weapons, which means all of the damage buff perks, all of those crit perks, everything that goes with blades, can now be also applied to throwing knives. And I know that there are some crazy late game perks for the blades category, so I know that this is going to be a massive jump in damage once I get reflexes high enough. Now to be real, I was having a lot of fun and did a lot of grinding in this early section because it was just fun throwing knives. There was like a nice challenge to it and a skill to it that made it satisfying. And all the assault and progresses I was doing, a lot of them come with free cyberware, so I went and equipped it before going after the mission to invade all foods. I meet up with Jackie, we head into all foods, and I know that I want to do the final fight with Royce with these throwing knives, just to see how bad is it going to be? After we make it inside to have a conversation, I don't sit down like Dum Dum tells me to, because who tells Gordon Ramsay what to do? Only gonna tell you one more fucking time. Okay, 
He'll fucking mat it! <laughs> I have a perk point. Headshot damage. Let's go. <laughs> Time to fillet some stuff. No. Ah, that should have been a kill. What? How did he see me? Oh, the guy up top, I think. Whoa, wow. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Let's go. Now we get a face Royce. Oh, great. <laughs> Oh, hi, Jackie. When did you get there? What? <laughs> okay, let's take out the straggler first. Okay. It's actually going way better than I thought. Dang, Jackie, go to town. Get him. <laughs> Let's go, Jackie. Dang, finishing him off. Make sure you're gone. See ya. With that mission finished, I go meet up with Evelyn, and she shows us the brain dance and some spicy moments with Yorinobu. I give her a few pointers. And then, turn her over, and bang, up the butt. With that finished, before I start the mission the heist, there's one thing I really wanted, which was double jump, and I knew I was pretty close to it after all the grinding I just did. And after getting just a couple more thousand I needed to buy double jump, I realize it's locked behind a street credit limit, and I figure it's best to probably just go do the mission. At this point, being a level 8, I decide to invest in some of the perk trees, getting cool up to level 12, and get things like stunning blows, that way I stun enemies when I hit them with a throwing knife, just good perks that really help. And I jump into the mission, the heist. After arriving to Kumbeki Plaza and they force me to put all my weapons away, I use a PC only trick, opening the inventory and pressing the K crafting button to force open the crafting window and immediately craft myself a new knife. Running up to the bar with chef knife in hand, I feel like I need to ask for the lamb sauce. Where's the lamb sauce? Jackie and I make it up to our room and do all the cutscene flathead thing and then eventually make our way to Yorinobu's penthouse. We grab Johnny Silverhand, hide in this pillar, and watch the biggest anime betrayal since Sasuke left to join Orochimaru. And now it's time to get to work. No, give me my knife back. Uh. Okay, okay. Oh, I missed. Give it. Give it back. Oh, got him. If this was a drill, why'd they send in Saka Special Forces? Quietly. Special Forces. <laughs> hey, Jackie. How are you? Oh, yeah. Give me. <laughs> yes. Three knives. All right. We're good to go. We're rocking and rolling. Gordon Ramsay's here to... <laughs> I don't know. Do something. Alright, time to 
to get to work, Jackie. Okay, one gun down. Nice. After escaping with Jackie, we hop into yet another driving segment where they force a pistol into my hands and I have to play it out as normal. After saying goodbye to Jackie and then saying goodbye to Dex, we end up in the Johnny Silverhand flashback. And guess what? I can't use throwing knives here, so I play it out as normal. So this, again, doesn't matter. With that finished up, we wake up in our own body, say goodbye to Dex, finish off the driving segment with Takemura, Vic saves our life, and Johnny's in our head. After waking up the next morning, I manage my inventory and then go meet up with Takemura. With Takemura telling us to wait up for his call, I decide to go meet up with Judy and get the mission from her to go find Evelyn. But I decided to do some more assault and progresses to just level up some more and because it's honestly kind of fun just running around with a throwing knife. I then do a little research to find out where a legendary chef's knife is and it turns out to be in this kitchen specifically. Good to just make a mental note of that in the future. End up finding the whip of my dreams. Oh, I didn't know I could drive this. Let's go. I continue running around doing missions and eventually put some perk points into the cool tree and unlock poison for throwing knives, which I didn't realize was this cracked. <laughs> Bleeding and poison? You joking? Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting now. Oh, Oh, this is so disgusting now. Just the poison. And level up just enough to finally get my double jump. And with that, I head off to clouds. Drift it! Woo! Yo, this car kinda sick. What the heck? Dude, I'd be vibing hard in this car. Alright, you stay there, okay? I'll come back. Ah, uh, no. Put some guns up, put some guns up. Dude, I was kind of vibing to that song. I was kind of vibey. I don't know. I bet loading that Welcome despawned my truck. No. <sighs> I'm sad now. Only two willing to spread their legs. Craft. Craft more. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't mean to have it out. Put it away. Put it away. Good. See, we're chilling, bro. We're chilling. Hey, we're fine, bro. Give me my knife. Give me my knife. Take that. No. Wow, that was... You're not helping. That was now insanely what? fast. After finding out where Evelyn is, I clear out the rest of clouds and make my way to Fingers. No! My baby! After Judy and I get all the information we need, we head off to save Evelyn. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. Thank Judy rocking out. What the heck? Alright, going in. Okay, bye Judy. Sneaky time. Where is Carl when you need them? Get yourself together! Gosh, throwing knives are so fun. I'll tear you apart, hear me? Ow, bummer. Bro got three kitchen knives sticking out of his chest and he's just like, I'm all right. Oh, wow. No, I'm Gordon Ramsay. What are you talking about? I only create perfection. After ensuring everyone's dead in this area, even the guys sitting in the room watching brain dances, we save Evelyn and jump into the brain dances that she recorded. 
With that mission finished, I spent a couple more perk points that I received into the body tree for health regen and then from the shadows to add crit chance when I enter combat. And then, because of all the Assault of Progress missions I've been doing, I have enough money to go pay Rogue for the information on Anders Hellman. I go meet up with Pan Am, try to see if I can get a car to get stuck on top of hers again, and we head off to surprise attack the Raff and Shiv. And I see something I have literally never seen in this game. Okay, we have arrived. What was that? What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. Wait, what? We'll need to improvise. We should scout first to look for anything that might be useful. Where, what is this fan doing? What? Huh? Hey, hold up, hold down. up. I know how to surprise the bastards. Hold up, Pan Am, I need to test something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't think it has collision. Oh, it has collision. <gasps> Wait, huge. Oh. I don't think it'll let me land on it. Oh, that, ooh, that's a good attempt. Even if it just like booped me across the map, I don't care. I just wanna like, I don't know. Oh, I mantled it. I don't think it's gonna let me stand on it. No. <laughs> oh, this is so fascinating. Why is there just a fan? All right, I'm done. <laughs> With my curiosity somewhat satisfied, we finished setting up to surprise attack. Nope, we're chilling. Alright, well, Pan Am's going now, I guess. I technically didn't get discovered. Oh dang, Pan Am, let's go. Oh. She's crazy with that sniper. Jeez. Uh. After getting Pan Am's car back, and of course, because I'm trying not to avoid combat, we go after Nash. Oh, you're annoying. Oh, these guys are the bane of my existence. Oh my gosh. Give me my knives. Got him, got him. Okay, we're chilling. No! Gosh, I have to get like point blank with this guy. Oh, frick you guys. Come on, try punch me. Nice, nice. Dang. All right. With that mission finished, I get enough levels to get probably the most important perk for throwing knives, which is juggler. When you defeat an enemy or land a crit hit with a throwing knife, you regain all throwing knives. Basically, if it takes me three knives to kill someone, if that third knife kills them, I get all my knives back immediately. This basically makes it so I can stay at range, I don't have to run into trouble anymore and grab my knives off their body. I then run to go do a quick mission to try and get Takimura to call me. I wait a day and he finally calls me up. We have a quick chat with Oda, then go meet up with Wakako and get some information from her. With that finished up, I go meet up with Pan Am and we go after Uncle Anders. Why am I calling him uncle? No clue. It just feels right, okay? Hold on, Eight, 130 for a perfect medium rare. Oh, rescue um, uh, into jail. After getting through all the story beats, we make it to the crash site and have my first encounter with robots. Now, because these don't bleed or get poisoned, it's a little bit more tricky, but knives have a good chance to dismember, so it's not that bad. After letting Pan Am save Mitch because I can't use the throwing knife, I watch her continue to squat in the dirt, and we make our way after Anders. Watch out! Oh, dang, let's go, Pan Am. God damn it! <laughs> you know what? These tracks lead up past the hill to an old Nice teleport. Okay, covering you. I'm to be sneaky. Not what you would find if the place were closed. I see cars. The bastards have managed to call. Mm -hmm. 
I recognize no the soon enough. The class. <laughs> that was just a, a vomit of words there for a second. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, that's good news. What? Pan Am's just shooting? Okay. Thanks, Pan Am, I guess. Alright, I guess Pan Am's going, so we need to go. Oh wow. Okay. And I swear Pan Am used to never help with this. But now she does, and it's kind of great. Oh my gosh. He has to <laughs> Stupid turrets, dude. Why do they hit so hard? Just turn it off. How's it going, Anders? Nice to see ya. With this mission finished and seeing that I leveled up again, I decided to start looking through the perk trees once again. And since I feel like the cool tree is pretty well satisfied for me, I start looking at the blades tree and see one of the most important perks in my opinion for this, Judge Jury Executioner, increasing damage against enemies with max health. At max, this gives 100% additional damage to an enemy with max health, meaning that if I land a headshot with a throwing knife, doing 100% extra damage on top is a massive percentage. After feeling like I have a good, clear direction on what I'm going to do, I then go meet up with Takemura and invade the Arasaka warehouse. Okay, I'm in. Enemy contact. How, did, the how, did you, how did you see that? They are going this already. Okay, floats ours to do with as we please. That's your way out. Oh. Your buildings are up. Smaller ones. Them to oh. Down. oh my gosh. Nice. Okay, this is going fairly well. Nice, one gun down. There we go, there we go. Come on. Where you at, Netrunner? I'm coming for you. I'm gonna overheat you in the oven. Ha. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm Gordon Ramsay and I cook. What am I doing? <laughs> Yo, let's go. Huge win. With that mission finished, I decided it's finally time to go meet up with Placide and go after the animals. Okay, I think I think this is gonna go a lot better than I originally thought. I'm trying, Placide. Why do you always have to yell at me? Can't you just be nice for once? Like, just one time. That's all I'm asking. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Dude, I'm silent. What are you talking about? You hear these knives? No. How is that not a headshot? Oh, my gosh. I got swarmed. Oh, okay. All right. Now, I'm going to do you guys a favor. Matilda has health regen as long as she has the thing intact on her back. Uh, it turns out that thing is really hard to hit with throwing knives while she's running around and, you know, throwing knives have a delay when you throw them. I struggled really bad. So, yeah, this literally took me five minutes straight to break this thing. So, we're, we're fast forwarding it. Finally. Oh my gosh. Oh 
no. <laughs> I feel good now. Watch it. It's actually winning. It's... Oh, that took so much more work than I anticipated. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Holy crap. With Matilda finally down, I go hack the Netwatch agent, almost get killed by Placide, but then go confront Placide about it, and finally get to talk to Brigitte. We jump into yet another Johnny Silverhand flashback. Now because I'm not avoiding combat, after talking with Alt and getting out of the ice bath, I pull knives on these guys. <laughs> Oh, that was kind of clean though. After honestly having a pretty easy time pushing my way through these guys, I run into probably one of the biggest issues I'll ever face in this run. Placide. Oh no, Placide. He has a Sandy. How the heck am I going to hit him? Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, uh, I need him to try to hit me. Okay, point blank. I can throw things point blank at him. No. Yes, try to melee. No. Oh, Placide's here. Oh, hi. Just sit around the corner like that. That's perfect. Okay, never mind. He just one tapped me. Mono y mano, let's go. Oh my, he one shots me. He legitimately one shots me. I didn't expect this. Uh, we'll see. No, stop, stop it, stop it. Your shotgun hurts. Oh, your shotgun hurts a lot. He shot through the wall. That's so cheap. Okay, so he does four shots and then a reload. Okay, 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 huge news. Three, four, reload. Oh, yes. Oh, he's so dead. I hate you. I hate you. Ooh. Ha. Gotta stay unpredictable. Unpredictable. <laughs> what a weird fight. Ooh, ooh, huh? Serpentine? Serpentine? Huh? Ooh. Ah, ah. Ooh. That could have been dead. Okay, he can still use a Sandy even though he's blind. Ugh. Love that. <laughs> this is actually the most stressed I've ever been in this fight. Usually this fight's such a pushover. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. Just stay alive. Just stay alive. Come on, poison, do your thing. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever had to evaluate a, a person's actions like that in this game, so it was actually kind of a fun challenge. Anyways, with that mission done, the only mission left to unlock the end of the game is to follow up with Takemura, but I need him to call me. So I do what I usually do, just do an NCPD mission, and usually you wait a day and he'll call. And just like predicted, he calls. During that last assault in progress, I ended up finding a rare version of the chef's knife. So I'm going to have a knife that does a decent amount more damage, which is perfect for stealth. Making this entire segment before Oda an absolute pushover. Nice. Now to be real, I was kind of scared of this fight with Oda because I knew that he had a Sandy. But I decided to go for it anyway. Been on a while. Time for a break. Where's the cable? Fuck! <laughs> Alright. Of course you're here! I, you leave me no choice. Wow. I was actually doing a lot of damage there. Hey, come here. Where'd you go? You pay for this! 
Ah, okay. He doesn't... He doesn't... Dodge when he's shooting. This is going... <laughs> so much better than I expected. Compared to what Placide just put me through, this is like... Oh, this is chill. He's barely dodging at all. I keep blinding him. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. Okay. Hey, 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 chill, chill. Oh, did you see that? This guy ain't dodging anything. What the heck? <laughs> oh, get wrecked, Oda. Alright, chill. I'll take it. With that fight going way better than I expected, Takamura grabs Hanako, and I make my way to meet up with him. <laughs> you know what? Give me your truck. Oh, I've never been here. I haven't been to Haywood yet. Hey, Sebastian, how you doing? After having a chat with Hanako, Arasaka shows up and literally lights up the place. And we watch Takemura T-pose on them. And because I'm not avoiding combat, I immediately jump up, save Takemura, and we pretty easily push our way out of the building. With that mission finished, we finally have the end of the game unlocked, and I put up a poll on my channel asking you guys what ending you guys wanted me to do. And well, not to say it was expected, but it was kind of expected that you guys would choose the ending, Don't Fear the Reaper, the secret ending. Because I guess all of you guys want to watch me suffer. However, this is the only ending that pretty much forces you to be close to max level, if not max level, so I decide to do a live stream where I go from my current level 21 all the way to level 50. While doing this live stream, we do see quite a few unique situations, but I figured I'd show you my favorite. <laughs> what happened? Bro, where are you going? Where are you where are you trying to go? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's no one inside. Hold up. Hold up. It was a ghost car. Oh no. <laughs> and after spending three and a half hours with you guys, I finally get to level 50 and start playing around with what'll be my final build. See, I kind of, I found this white jacket and I'm kind of feeling it. All right, let's go see how this thing plays. So if I dodge, can I charge up my knife and dodge? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I get 50% more damage when I dodge. 18,000. That was just straight up 19k there. 8,000 for body, 12,000, 5,000. But I have, I can dodge in midair. So it makes things really fun. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, hey, hey. There you go. Hold that for me. You hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. I'll really quickly show you the skill trees if you want to see where I ended up putting all my perks, but if you want to see a deeper sort of conversation, I think the stream, I do kind of discuss why I'm choosing certain perks. Again, the stream will be in the description. During the live stream, I did end up doing the mission where I unlocked the secret ending with Johnny. So the next day I pick up the game and immediately run for the secret ending. Now, like I did in the last challenge run where I took on the secret ending, I'm going to put the full secret ending as a separate video uh, that you guys can watch, but I'm gonna chop this one up because it literally took me about 25 minutes to get through this whole thing front to back. And I felt that would be a little long for this video. If I gotta die, rather fall into my grave, gun in hand and on fire, and not drag anyone down with me. Look at that smile. Huh. He's proud. You just discovered what it takes to become a legend. Grab your eye. Let's mobilize. Time to party Weapons like it's 2023. Are not allowed on the premises. We wish you a pleasant day. Careful. This is their house. 
Got a game plan all polished and rehearsed. <laughs> this is gonna be so easy. Whoa, okay, wow, all right. There we go, there we go. Oh, 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 I'm out of combat. Hold up, I need to eat. We're gonna take one of those. Where's my burrito? I need a burrito. We're slamming a burrito. Uh, let's go for the corn and lemon. Much better, 581 health. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Got them all? Access to Got it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Elevator. Are we about to first try this, Johnny? <laughs> Goodbye. It's gonna be an ambush, no doubt. Just focus. You're oh, I'm here, bro. Him. I'm focused. Activating stealth mode. Freeze I can't open that. I don't have enough strength. Great. Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh, hi. Okay, hi, hi, how y'all doing? I can't see because the stupid malfunction. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's gonna be dangerous. Oh, that's so dangerous. Oh my gosh, that's dangerous. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what is this, dude? This is so fun, though. Turb, think you can use. Wait, where? Wow. Okay. Those guys are scary. Look on my works, ye mighty, in despair! Okay, we're chilling. Alright, let's go, Smasher. The actual easiest part of this entire area. What's with the door? Gordon Ramsay's coming for you, Smasher. Get ready to get sauteed. Interesting. Yo, that's... Uh, it's less damage than I was hoping for, not gonna lie. But it's not bad. <laughs> hey, yo, chill. <laughs> hey, Smasher, hold these for me. <laughs> Okay, you do hit definitely a lot harder when I don't have armadillos, I will say. Am I though? I don't know. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. When your helper's coming, huh? Alright, time for missile launchers. Oh, come on. 
Come on, that should have been a hit. There you go. Ooh. I can't see. No, I'm out of knives. There we go. I'm back. Oh, okay. He going again. Ooh, where? Huh? Down here? Ah, yes. Big boy. See ya. That's not good. Long shot. See, I think it's weird that he mentions Rogue here, when he technically doesn't know we even have a connection to her. You know what I mean? I don't know. Endless throwing knives from landing criticals. I love it. Hey. See a smasher. <laughs> ah. Johnny Silverhand senses recall. First try. Gotten good, I Well dang. That was uh that was honestly I expected to die at least once, but I guess not. <laughs> Throwing knives are just good, so. Jackie. Right, you're in Makoshi. Wait. Mano. I've never done this ending with Jackie sent to Makoshi. Hold up. Leagues, man. <sighs> dicks. Dang. This is facet. Like, life. I didn't know that there was two ways to meet him if you sent him to Vix. That's really fascinating. It's the same voice lines, though. So he's definitely caught in a sort of mental loop. Well, dang. There it is. We did it. Throwing knives only. Uh, honestly, it's pretty much what I expected. Throwing knives are OP. They're... It's a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing this one. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my dumb twist on making myself Gordon Ramsay using only chef knives. As I always do at the end of these videos, I like to spoil the next one if you're one of the few who stick around. I'm going to do a budget Netrunner. I'm not sure the exact rules of it yet, but I know it's going to have something to do with the starting gear that I get and try to figure that out. My worry, obviously, is late game. Can I even kill everybody with the starting Netrunner gear? I have no clue. Anyways, I'm excited to try it though and see what I can do with that kind of idea. I think I'm actually just gonna be streaming that one from front to back. Also, I'm gonna start working on a Fallout 4 run, I think. Uh, I'm really wanting to branch out from Cyberpunk a bit, go into some of my favorite games, Skyrim and Fallout and the Bethesda titles, especially since we have Starfield around the corner. I just really wanna dig into those because I know that I'm gonna play the crap out of Starfield. So. Anyways, thank you for watching all the way through to the end. I really appreciate all of you guys. I am so excited that YouTube is slowly becoming 
the dream job and I'm able to do it. And it's, I love doing it. I love the community that I'm building. You guys are awesome. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.